Carbon monoxide CO, is a colorless, odorless, and highly toxic gas. The incomplete combustion of carbon-based fuels, including gasoline, diesel, and natural gas, produces it. Cars, particularly those with internal combustion engines, are one of the significant sources of carbon monoxide emissions. Modern cars are equipped with catalytic converters and other emission control devices that help reduce carbon monoxide emissions. These devices convert carbon monoxide into less harmful carbon dioxide CO2, through a chemical reaction. However, despite these advancements, carbon monoxide can still be a concern, especially where cars are operated in enclosed or poorly ventilated spaces, such as garages or tunnels. If a vehicle is left running in a closed area, the exhaust fumes can build up, leading to a potentially dangerous concentration of carbon monoxide. Studies show that elevated CO in the body interferes with driving skills. CO blocks oxygen from the brain, heart, and other vital organs when inhaled. People suffering from CO intoxication think more slowly and irrationally, are confused, and cannot safely operate a motor vehicle. The condition is hazardous because they do not realize they are impaired. The lethal consequences of CO in engine exhaust is tragically illustrated by the hundreds of persons who die each year from carbon monoxide poisoning caused by a running vehicle inside a closed garage. Others die or become ill in homes with attached garages while stranded in their car or while driving or riding in a vehicle with a defective exhaust system. What causes carbon monoxide poisoning from vehicles? Operating a vehicle with a defective exhaust system. Driving a vehicle with holes in the car body. Allowing children to ride under a topper on a pickup truck. Warming up a vehicle in a garage, even with the outside garage door open. Operating vehicles in a garage, car wash, or any enclosed building. To minimize the risk of carbon monoxide poisoning, it's essential to ensure proper ventilation in enclosed spaces and never leave a car running in a closed garage or other confined areas. It's also crucial to have regular maintenance of the exhaust system and emission control devices in vehicles to ensure they are functioning properly. When stranded in a snowstorm, we are told to open a window on the downwind side of the car, to operate the engine for only a short time until the car warms, then shut it off. Caution should be used with the mentioned procedures. With the engine off snow may cover the exhaust pipe. An open window on the downwind side of the car will likely be in a low pressure area where exhaust gases could collect and be pulled into the car. If you are stranded in the car with snow piling up, get out and ensure the tailpipe is not blocked before starting the engine again. Keyless ignition systems have become increasingly popular offering convenience and ease of use. However, they do introduce new safety considerations. With traditional ignition systems, turning off the car usually involves physically removing the key, which serves as a clear visual and tactile reminder. In keyless ignition systems, drivers can simply walk away from the vehicle with the key fob, which may lead to confusion or forgetfulness about whether the car is actually turned off. If a keyless ignition car is inadvertently left running in a closed space such as a garage, carbon monoxide can build up, posing a serious health hazard to anyone in the vicinity. Since 2006, nearly 30 people in the US have died of carbon monoxide poisoning by their keyless ignition vehicle. To address this issue, some car manufacturers have started to implement safety features in newer models to alert drivers when their vehicles are still running. And by November 2023, the U.S. Department of Transportation must release new keyless ignition vehicle safety regulations, including requiring automakers to install a system that would automatically shut engines off if they're left running for too long. In summary, never leave a car running in an enclosed space, and always prioritize proper ventilation to prevent the buildup of carbon monoxide. Understanding the risks and taking necessary precautions can help ensure the safety and well-being of yourself and others.